Hi everyone and welcome back. If you can hear a little bit of background noise, I have to tell you on for my daughter who will more than likely walk in and out of this video, which I can see her doing right now. So yes, today is my birthday and I'm 35, no, I nearly put an age on myself then. I am 34 years old today. Yes, I am that old. So basically, like I mentioned in my previous video, I am doing unboxings, reveals for um, the next three videos. We are now on video number two, and today is a um, unboxing slash reveal because I've already unboxed it because I basically, I had to because I ordered this item a while ago. So I basically needed to check to make sure it was 100% okay and yes so let's get into it this is the box and this is how it came you pull the bit of card that was here across and obviously it opens up like this it is a Ted Baker item now, I've already looked at this because I've had to. Um, I bought this online and like I said before, I got it weeks ago when I had the money for it. So, yes. So, this is the item. It is the Ted Baker Alexa wallet or Alexia wallet. I'm not 100% sure. I think it's Alexia card holder. So basically you can get it in three different colours. I got mine in black. You can get it in a very pale pink, which is very pale to the point where it is probably more white than anything. And you can get it in a greyish colour as well. Um, it has the three card compartments on the front. It has, it has two on the back. It has a zipper down the middle where you can put cash or anything like that. And obviously, just so everyone is aware, yes, this is an official birthday present to myself because I I haven't used it yet. Obviously, the tag is still attached, so I've saved it for that long. Um, and then on either side of the zip, you have um, these slots. Um, so you have a compartment here to pull, again, cash, coupons or whatever, and you have another one on the other side. Now, basically, I got this item because the purse that I'm using at the, mo at the moment is my mulberry purse, and I wanted to, I wanted to basically downsize. Now, originally, I was going to, I was actually looking at getting the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet, but obviously, I know it's one of the hardest things to get hold of, and basically, um, I went ahead and bought a cheaper version, well, not a version, a cheaper item on eBay, I think it wasn't even, I think it was about £5 to see whether I liked it, um, sort of the same type of design. Um, it broke the first day I got it and to be honest it was quite hard to get in and out of the coin pouch so yes I ended up binning that a good few weeks back so basically the reason I wanted to downsize is because obviously for anyone who knows any sort of continental wallet it is big it is a flat wallet it's basically the classic wallet that we would have used many many years ago it's probably the purse that the style of purse that your grandmother would have used years ago but obviously due to the fact that we are in um an age where we mainly use credit cards and that's about it i have basically got to the point where i'm not using cash anymore so i do when i do shopping or whatever i purchase everything online or I use my card for it. So basically I thought to myself, I need to downsize. So originally I was going to, I wanted the YSL card holder. And then I decided I'd like something smaller for like coins and maybe 
something else for cash and yeah so i was originally going to get three items from ysl but um i had a fairly good idea of what i wanted and i basically wanted instead of getting three different separate items i wanted something compact and i basically went into the john lewis in liverpool one and i came across this which was basically everything i was looking for it's small it's compact you can fit your cards your coins if you do choose to have them and you've, you've got extra compartments at the side to put whatever in it's a hell of a lot smaller than this is as you can tell it is a lot thinner as well so it was basically everything that i was looking for now normally i wouldn't buy from ted baker because i've seen their purses and to be honest i personally think that they're cheap um, I've seen them being copied so many times and they just don't look as expensive as they are anymore. And when I came across this, now I don't know whether you'll be able to tell, but this is actually leather. And I had, when I did my very first what's in my bag, it was well, what's in my bags video. I had two bags in that video, I think. I'm not 100% sure. But basically, this is leather. If you can see, it had, it's grained on the front and it's a really good quality leather as well and basically when i bought when i saw this i remembered about my old handbag that i had because it's basically a tan bag it's got no structure to it whatsoever and the, le the leather on it is very decent quality if it weren't for the fact that this was leather i probably wouldn't have bought it but due to the fact that it is leather I knew I would get a lot of use out of it. So I just thought to myself, and you know what, I'm gonna get it. Also, this was only £39 at the time. So I saved myself a hell of a lot of money and a hell of a lot of space. So yes, this is the wallet. Now I'm going to show you exactly what I'll be putting in this from this purse because I've been waiting to use this for a very long time and I'm very excited. Um, one of the other reasons that I wanted to swap out of this as well is because I have downsized a lot of my SLGs um, and also whenever I went into my bag to get this purse out I always scraped the bottom of the back of my hand on this bloody tree and I don't know whether you can actually see I don't know whether it will focus or whatever but basically the tree is formed of like they may as well be little needles and it's just it bloody hurts and i end up coming out going into my bag fine coming out with a handful of blood uh, over obviously and over exaggeration i am making so let's transfer over from this what i'll be putting into this so first obviously i will be using my bank card obviously I need to have my bank card um, I won't be transferring everything over because obviously at the current moment with everything that is going on we do not need things like club cards, beauty cards or anything like that because that you can only use those in stores as far as I'm aware. Please correct me if I'm wrong and obviously due to the fact that we are not leaving the house I have no reason to use them. So yes um i will put my provisional license in there as well my provisional license um just in case i get asked for id actually you know what i think i'll leave my license out because i don't use it that often so i don't really see the point actually you know what i will because this is my look i'll go i'll leave it out to my purse I'll go to a shop, I'll buy a bottle of wine or something and they'll ask me for ID and I won't have anything on me. I know, yeah. So I'm going to shove that in as well. So that can go there. So that is how it looks so far. And the last thing that I will put in is my Metro card for whenever I use buses, trains or whatever. Obviously, I do not need this right now. So technically, I do not need to put it in. But it is good to have just in case something happens. So that will also go in here. So I have my bank card, my license 
and my metro card i would normally put card more cards on the back but i don't need to so i'm gonna leave those out i then have this is the first time i've done this in one of these videos and i've actually had cash i've got 30 pounds <laughs> yay i'm rich 30 pounds i'm gonna stick roll i'm gonna fold that up and i'm gonna stick this i'm going to stick this here in the front behind this so this will go in here i need my healthy start vouchers because obviously i get fruit and veg for flag so i will have my healthy saw vouchers as well on me so they will go in the other side so they will go in the back one that has nothing in at the moment so they will go in there um and to be perfectly honest i think that's all i'm going to be putting here funnily enough because i do not actually need anything else i do have a few you know bits of change and whatever Actually, I'll put a few coins in it just in case, because you never know. Um, I have two pounds in change, so that will go in the zipped compartment here. So, I'm going to cut that out in a minute. Um, actually, I'm going to cut this out now, actually, before I forget to do it. So, that will go in there like that basically so yes i have now officially taken the ted baker label off and as you can see as well just in case for those of you want to and I'm, I'm going to leave this on actually and see if you can see it which is the code and the price right there the last time i checked this item was actually reduced to i think it was about 25 pounds it doesn't bother me that i bought it at full price to be honest but yes so this is the wallet i'm very very happy i downsized because it means i can carry less things on me um basically there's a lot of things i've left in this because obviously like i said before the situation that we're in we don't need everything i have my tv license card which I don't use. I have a Tesco Club card, which I don't use. In fact, you know what? I think I'm going to take the Tesco Club card out. And I think I'm going to put this club card in the back here. Because I have Tesco at top of the road and that's where I'm doing my shopping at the moment. So like that could come in handy actually due to the fact that Tesco are overpriced. They are too bloody expensive. So yes, I normally go to Asset, but due to the fact that I'm not going that far anymore due to the coronavirus, um, I am just having to deal with the fact that Tesco is the closest shop to me at the moment. So yes, I will keep my Tesco club cards in there. A boots, no boots, the body shop card. I have my John Lewis card to be honest if i was to carry this if i was to carry any of these cards with me the main ones i would probably take with me would be my john lewis uh the body shop and say debenhams because to be honest they're the only places that i technically really go to uh, my ikea card i have an ikea family card which yes i'm gonna just cover that up i have an ikea family card and to be honest, I don't need to carry this with me all the time because it's not like I go to Ikea every time I go to the shop. So I do not need this. Um, I have a Matalan card as well. And to be honest, I don't really shop in Matalan. So the main card that I would more normally take with me would be, um, like, as I said, my John Lewis, the body shop and also um, Debenhams. I would normally also have my Cafe Nero points cards, but obviously we can't go to a cafe anymore. Not yet anyway, so I will not be transferring them over anytime soon. So 
So yes, that is what I have taken out of here and transferred over into this, which is, you know, a lot smaller, a lot thinner, a lot more compact. And um, yeah, I don't have to scratch my hand on the tree anymore. I'm probably gonna instead scratch it on these words because these are up, these are raised metal wet letters. So yes, but to be honest, I don't think they're gonna cause that much damage. So yes, I am happy with this item. I will definitely recommend it to people. Um, it's leather and it's not like a cheap leather either. It's a thick, good quality leather. So I'm ho hoping it will last a, a very long time. So yes. I will leave the description to this in the box below. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and do wish me a happy birthday if you do get the chance, because like I said, today is my birthday. Um, this video will be going up either later today or early in the morning, which you will know because you will be watching it. So yes, I hope you all enjoyed. Please like and subscribe, like I said, comment below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.